I specifically picked this shot because it does not get more monochromatic than this. And we took this and turn it into that. And you will see all that magic unfold in under four minutes. So are you guys pumped? Because I don't wanna waste your time. I wanna jump right in. For those that don't know me, my name is Kazi. I've worked with brands like Adidas, Amazon Prime, Universal Studios, and I make no just straightforward color grading tutorials so you can work with your dream clients. If you can do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Let's get into it. All right, so now we're inside Resolve. Before I started the timer, I just want to tell you this footage is shot on Ari Amira, got it from Artlist. So we already converted it from Ari Log to Rec 709. And then this node is set to linear gamma. All the details can be found in my description. I'm going to have a video on color management. I'm going to have a video on this technique, a specific te technique that I'm using here. But the focus of this video is going to be how to build a blockbuster look in minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer right now, and I'm gonna be building this entire look using Resolve's best look development tool. You can check out the link in the description. If you wanna follow along, you can also download the free demo and then practice with me. So we're gonna start the timer, drop on DCTL, and then down here, I'm going to select look DNA, okay? And then I'm just gonna go all the way down and under preset, I'm gonna change it to Kodak 2383. I mean, just look at this result right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is in my exposure balance, I'm just going to take my gamma and I'm just gonna move it around to just balance the image a little bit. So even something like that, just get some of that red out. So we already have some decent separation going on. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop a DCTL, I'm gonna select color comp and in color comp, I'm gonna just turn on these two guys so you guys can see what's going on. We're gonna select a color that we want to inject to create a complementary color scheme. And since it's a blockbuster look, I'm gonna park it somewhere around here. I'm gonna take my compressor near and just crank it all the way, and it does that. So in order to separate our guy from the background without using qualifiers, I'm gonna start moving this around and I'm gonna park it even somewhere around here. And that is a killer separation. I mean, just look at that, what we did with this background. Now I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna drop another DCTL, it's called a skin juice mixer. And in here, the entire idea is that I wanna separate the skin, pull that out from the background. I'm gonna click right here. This is another DCTL called QT Charts, best utility tool for Resolve right now. And I'm gonna turn on color chart, that's gonna help us build this look. So I'm gonna go in sat skin and just like look what's happening here. So we can like really see the actual change that we're making. I'm gonna go under exposure for the skin tones and drop it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more red into his skin. And then for the rest of it, I'm just literally going to be focusing right here and seeing like what I'm doing and create this crazy, crazy separation. So now if I do before and after, just look what we created. It's absolutely insane. The next thing that I wanna do is you see like this sort of like little bit of a, discoloration type of thing that's happening here. We're gonna fix that by dropping another DCTL called sat control. This breaks down saturation into the most saturated areas to the least saturated areas. So what I'm gonna do here, just look at this, okay? So if I go here and if I just take my mid sat and crank it, it's gonna look like this. Then I can take my high sat and pull it back a little bit. Now, if I go under my mid sat control, I can actually smooth it out. Like, look at this. And then I can do the same with my high sat control. So I smooth it out a little bit. It's still very saturated, but it gave us the right amount of punch in the midtones that we needed to create even more separation. So now it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go under my look DNA and made some final changes. So I'm going to add some bleach bypass. So I'm just gonna do something like that. And that cleans up our whites and all that stuff. So that's pretty good, like even something like that. Then I'm gonna go under overall saturation and it is very different than uh, it's a spherical saturation model compared to regular YRGB saturation model in Resolve. So it's very, very clean. I mean, just like look at the results right now. So I'm gonna park it somewhere around here. And then at this point, we can just go under temp and add some warmth if we want to, a little bit of warmth. And then if we just wanna go more blockbuster, we can just add more green here and create something like that. And let's just park it somewhere around here. And if I do before and after, and if I do show you our Rec. 709, this is our log, this is our Rec. 709. 
this is the look that we ended up with. So I'm going to kill this. And that's where we are. So, I mean, just look at it. I mean, this is Rec. 709 from Alexa or Arya Mira, I should say. And then this is the look that we created in minutes using Kazi's Toolkit. So the first thing that we did, we dropped our look DNA, Kodak 2383. And then we started creating separation using color compressor. And just look at the work that Skin Juice did. It is crazy. And then this is why I told you that sat control was very important because it gave us that film density that we're used to from a film negative. I mean, just look at this. And it is not breaking. Everything is clean as hell. I mean, just look at this. Before and after. I mean, this image was as monotone as it gets. And just look at the amount of separation that we created. So there you have it. Let's check out the before and after in full screen. There you have it, quick and painless. Guys, I'm telling you, I don't know a single production house that I worked at where they didn't use third-party plugins. It is the easiest way to get things done four to five X faster, which means you can take on more clients and significantly increase your income. Check out the links in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, fam.